it's currently five minutes past seven. Uh, I'm heading over to the pool now. Um, I think I've got around 2,500 meter swim uh, and then we're going to a push day over at the foundry. Uh, looking forward to it and I'll catch you there. So just arrived at the pool now, uh, 3,360 meters, but I can guarantee uh, the watch will not record all of it. So it'll probably say 2,000 or something. And that's not because I'm skipping, that's literally just because uh, the watch always misses lengths and it is the most frustrating thing because my maths isn't the best. So like when I'm when I swim and I'm like, I think I've done the I've done the right length, and it's still saying, oh, you've got 100 meters to go. It's like, am I really that bad? But yeah, there we go. It's annoying. I can't get any footage while I'm in the pool just because it's a community pool. Um, but I'll catch you after and we'll see how many lengths I've actually done. Let's go. So 2,350 meters complete. Either I can't count all the watch. I'm putting it down to the watch if I'm honest. But, but I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, that swim done now. So going to get some chocolate milk. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I absolutely adore the Aldi chocolate milk. Uh, for me, really, really good. I mean, it's what, 700 calories. And I'm not looking to lose any weight in this uh, in this half Ironman prep. So once I uh, once I do that, then we'll go to the gym. And that's, it's almost like a pre-workout uh, snack as well. Um, and yeah, but once we've done that, I will hit the gym and I'll see you there. Let's go. that it just hits different every time i'm not even joking i mean i've also treated myself to some pan chocolates as well but if i say it i've struggled since my bayer um to say this word so if that's not right don't come at me but quick few of these before we go to the gym always does me well quick carbs i'll see you in the gym That is Jim Dunn. Um, overall, happy with that session. I think to move 120 for five uh, after a big swim and 86 days out, having done 18K on Wednesday, which I think is pretty nuts as well. So I'm quite happy with all of that. Uh, finished the session with some handstand practice. 
Not gonna put that on camera because it was actually awful today. Um, but at the end of each session now, I've started doing um, three sets of 20 press-ups and I'm finding the stretch of my chest is so much better. Like I can track so much better in my chest now. Uh, I'm just training with more intensity around that, which is quite cool. Um, and obviously lifting heavier with good control is allowing me to obviously maintain muscle and actually get bigger at the same time. Um, obviously it helps having the, the food before as well. So fuel up, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is pretty much a day in the life of what I'm getting up to at the moment. It's pretty it's pretty good. Um, I've got to go do some work now as well uh, for the hybrid hub. Uh, my clients are absolutely smashing it. And obviously then the community programs need programming uh, further on as well. But yeah, seven day free trial on the community hub as well. So if you go on to there and you want to sign up and you want to try one of the programs for, uh, for free, you get, seven days to try, uh, for, you get seven days to try it and then we can obviously move on from there. Um, but yeah, good community feel and we're really starting to grow something special. So that is this morning done. Food and work, let's go. So that is breakfast, uh, four eggs and two bagels with with a protein shake, uh, two scoops as well. Once I scram that, we'll get into some work. We had a big gym session, actually buzzing with the 120 for five as well. Shows that strength is still there. So keep moving, keep going. I'll see you soon. Day two of day, day two, of, no, what is it? Day two of a day in the life, just because the first one wasn't long enough. Um, joining my mate Connor it's on a run. Right. Park, <laughs> park run um, this morning, about 12K. We're gonna run there, run back, and do the park run as well. Not looking to send it. Connor's been running ridiculous at the moment. How many, how many, how many kilometers have you run so far this week? 50. 50K this week. 50K this week. He's done a half marathon last weekend and, and the weekend, weekend before. before that. And obviously training because he's just fucking nuts as well. So it should be pretty good. Nothing too, nothing too harsh at all. And yeah, I'll catch you on the run. This week is not yet. 12 minutes? 12k over there. 12K. Mad. It's day 8, are you feeling it? What, 2k in? Yeah. Taking easy three. What are we doing? 513 five, kilometer pace. So. It's decent. Decent, nice and easy. Nothing, no, not pushing the heart rate. What's the heart rate on, bro? You know, you're not fine. Mine's about 156. 156. Yeah, mine's 155. 155. Yeah. It's lovely. We've done 5k already. Like running here and then 2k now, so yeah, you the scenes, bro, show, show it off. Lovely day for it. If, um, if you're from the West Midlands, definitely come and try the Wi Forest Park Run. One meant to be one of the hardest courses, but it's actually sick. Great for training. I ran a sub 20 5k from training on here, so I think that's pretty, a pretty good start. But yeah, 2k coming up. 2k point. Yes, mate. How was that hill? Bro, that hill. You don't feel your heart rate spike until you get to the top of it. You want to slow down, but then you just slow. You know, you get like, like into a bit like that. Then yeah. that's what it feels like. But that, I feel that's what I, that's the reason it slows my heart rate here down. If I didn't have that issue, I think if it was more like this the whole way, or I'm strong on that hill, I'd be absolutely blessed, aren't you? The steep. Yeah. Horrible. And we got another hill here as well. Oh yeah, it is the hilliest park run I've done. It's the first three k's pretty much downhill the whole way, and then the last two k's just burn. It's just like hills Ooh, like this. Show you how see how steep this actually is, isn't it? But that hill's a killer. This is a killer. And then just going through the arboretum. Is it arboretum? Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. Going through the arboretum as well. It's all muddy. It's like that, but we'll get there. I don't know what time we're on for. Uh, well, it's been 20, well, been 20 minutes so far. Minutes. It's been 20 minutes in this park run so far, which is still quite fast, isn't it, considering? Well, and we've been running for 40. And we've been running already for 20, so... 40 minutes in total, come to 4k. Let's go. Last little bit now, through the woods. How you feeling, bro? <laughs> legs are heavy. <laughs> legs are heavy. My legs are absolutely shattered. That 18k is playing torch on me now. 
I'm not chafing though because these shorts are fine for short distance, but any long distance like the 18k of the day, it chafes crazy. So I'd probably go back to my night drive fits then. But for these, on a short run, absolutely spot on. See you at the finish. Seven miles on the bag this morning. Um, obviously ran there, park run, and then ran back. Uh, I've got an hour on the bike later. You got any condition? We were going to condition it, but we've got I don't know if we're going to, you know. Yeah. 34 miles this week. Yeah. 34 miles this week he's finished, so legs, legs are fried. Are heavy. Yeah, heavy legs. But running around running around that track, and it's literally like that the whole way. It's uh, it's not the one of heavy legs, but yeah, but yeah that's run done this morning. Uh, fuel up, and then an hour on the bike. Let's go. So last session of the day today, uh, an hour on the bike. Uh, with that, it's a really easy ride. It's nothing too hard at all. So obviously the run this morning um, and then the bike now. Going to get it done and then that is sessions for today complete. And then obviously rest day tomorrow on Sunday. Might train arms yet, not too sure. Um, but obviously this video will be out by then. Um, but yeah, truly pretty good. Set the Zwift on there. Netflix on TV. Simple ride. Let's go. Obviously, it's just an easy ride, it's nothing too hard whatsoever. Um, yeah, but just pushing. It's been able to, I think, work on compromised legs. So obviously, I know the run is after the bike normally, um, but the coach obviously got me doing the bike today after the run. Um, but I can guarantee in the next few weeks, I'll be, having to do a bit to, I'll be having to do more brick training. So on the bike to start and then straight out to run is gonna be the thing for me. Um, swimming and the running are my strongest points. The bike is obviously the weakest just because I don't normally go out and ride a bike, um, but we should be okay. Obviously I'm putting the work in for it, so I wouldn't imagine it'll be an issue. But overall, I think it's the heavy legs going from the bike 56 miles into then running a half marathon. Obviously I'm not expecting any sick time just for the half, but as long as I get under five and a half hours, I think that's pretty reasonable. As long as I can work hard, keeping this prep and stay motivated for it. Obviously the discipline's there, so we should be absolutely fine. But Keep putting the work in, and even when we don't want it to get it done. But yeah, looking forward to it. This is me for the next hour. I'll see you at the end. <sighs> Near enough 20k complete. That, an easy ride, but oh my God, the sweat. I've closed the garage door, but it's really hot in here. Yeah, but we're done. That is training for the week complete. Move on to a new week. 84, 84 days out possibly. Yeah. So that is the weekend in the life of what I'm getting up to. Um, pretty much as a hybrid athlete, trying to literally maintain strength, but at the same time get faster, fitter and stronger. If you're new here, please subscribe. And yeah, drop a like if you like this kind of content. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Let's go. It's JH Fitness, how you feeling? Bro, that's not the name.